Hello, Beijing living like a boss here again. Just uh, thought I'd go on another darn rant while I'm sitting on the ferry here crossing the lake. Just thinking about the uh, the mandates, the protests in Canada, the protests down in Ottawa, the protests down in Coots there. It's all the same protests, freedom protests, uh, started by the truckers and joined by various other uh, groups, etc., etc., and uh, just a whole lot of things going on. It kind of amazed me that the uh, it's gone on so long, it's even gone stronger. So they're not going to back down, that's for sure, but they are making, uh, you know, accommodating. They're allowing traffic to get through the Coots border. That's the main one that they're blocking. And, uh, you know, they're making efforts to uh, move them out of Ottawa out there. They, they just can't uh, get them to move uh, necessarily. It's pretty big equipment, you know, unless they drive it out or you can't get enough tow trucks. Not that they could get a darn a tow truck anyway. The tow trucks are involved in a darn protest. They tried that in Coots, tried to phone up the tow trucks, tried to pull them guys out of there. And the tow trucks didn't show up. So there you go. It's a pretty strong, uh, pretty strong protest, that's for sure. And it's all over the mandates. The population is just tired of it. You know, I know there's serious things like the health uh, care is going to get overwhelmed, all that kind of stuff. And but the experts say we're all going to get COVID anyway. So what the hell? Might as well just throw your hands up in the air and let's just get on with life here. Like there's enough people that died already, and they died alone. Christ's sakes, couldn't have their family with them, for example. So. Uh, it is what it is. You know, the you, the social uh, population is suffering so bad, you know, they're just like uncomfortable. They're just pissed off. They're, uh, they're unable to uh, just live a, a, a good life with all these restrictions. You can't six, get six people in a gathering this week and 12 next week and total shutdown the next week and then wide open in the next month and whatever. It's just going up and down all over the damn place. Nothing makes sense. So anyway, I hope they stick to their darn guns here. I, apparently the uh, Premier in um, Saskatchewan, Scott Moe, saying next week they're going to drop all the mandates. Kenny's going to do the same thing. Uh, Jason Kenny over here in Alberta is going to do the same damn thing next week. They're going to like open up the damn province for... Uh, for um, not like no mandates so just open it up and they did that last summer I know and they apparently according to all the numbers that well went upside down great big spikes of uh, COVID cases and deaths and all that kind of stuff but this go around here I, I don't know if it's related to the protest I kind of think that it's speeding up their uh, their decision making even uh, what's his name Legault down there in Quebec he's going to uh, not tax the unvaccinated anymore you know, that's that, that was a thing that they sure hit him upside the head with. Like, you can't be doing that. Like, that's a two-tier system there. You know, you can't do that. And uh, so anyway, power to him. I'm not taking part in it because, uh, well, I'm a long ways from there and I don't own a truck, boss's truck, so I ain't going to steal his equipment and go join the darn protest. So I'm just out here hauling the logs like I normally do. Meanwhile, uh, life carries on. Keep a strain on her, drive safe, and we will catch up to you later.